Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, August 28th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below this video, get set up for a free $60 account. It is simple as that, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a great way to give DocSports a trial run. Click on the link below the video to get yourself set up. $60 free account available right now as I speak. All right, listen, uh, oh, by the way, all signed up for the Westgate Super Contest yet again. Didn't mean to disappear on you for a second there, but uh, got all signed up on Tuesday. And uh, here's the deal, man. They've got, they're expecting maybe 3,500 entries uh, into the Westgate Super Contest this year. We had a 16th place finish a couple of years ago and turned $1,500 into about $25,000. And we're going to look to do even better better this season. You got to put your one money where your mouth is, right? If you're going to talk point spreads each and every day of the week. So uh, we'll be in the uh, Westgate Super Contest once again. We got that out of the way on Tuesday. Got all signed up with my proxy. And yes, I live here in Las Vegas, but that tells you how busy we get during the course of the week. I want to make sure I got somebody getting my plays in for me. You can actually enter your plays if you're in Nevada over the new app at the Westgate Super Contest. Uh, but again, I just want to make sure I've also got a proxy because uh, you never know when something goes wrong or you can't make it to the book. So I recommend uh, people to uh, get a proxy, whether they're in the state of Nevada. Of course, if you're out of the state of Nevada, you absolutely have to. Uh, here's what we got going on. This one's coming to you a little bit early because I wanted to get this out there. Uh, and it's even before our games have gone final with what we had uh, on Tuesday. But I wanted to get this out there because one of our personal plays for Thursday that I'm going to post at DocSports.com on Thursday, unless the line goes crazy, is an NFL preseason game for Thursday night. I want to get it to you now because I don't want this line to go up any higher than it already is. We'll give it to you now. You can jump on board. The line's gone from two and a half to three, and I'll tell you exactly who that is and why I like them coming up in just a second. First quick note about Wednesday. Uh, we do have, um, we will have uh, at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, we will have premium baseball action on Wednesday over at DocSports.com, so don't miss out on that. You can jump on board right now for college football and the NFL packages. They are combined, and uh, our plays will be posted Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time in college football and the NFL if we get involved any more than the play I'm about to give you in the NFL preseason. And again, this is a premium play, and this is a personal play for me that I'm about to give you uh, in NFL preseason action for Thursday, final day of preseason football. But again, I want to get it to you before uh, it has a chance to go up any higher than it already is. Uh, but again, Thursday, excuse me, Wednesday, we do have Major League Baseball, a five-star play over at Doc sports.com so don't miss out on that again it's available 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific football of course will be posted thursday afternoon and the fact that i'm giving you a thursday football play doesn't mean we're going to take wednesday off we will be back or i should say thursday off we will be back here on thursday morning with our next video want to give you that play though for thursday before the line goes any higher and i'm recommending the play on the minnesota vikings minus the field goal couple of books out there have two and a half still, but almost everybody uh, has gone to three. So Minnesota minus the field goal over the Buffalo Bills. Here's a couple of the reasons why. First of all, you know about Mike Zimmer and how well he's done overall uh, throughout his preseason coaching career. Weeks one and weeks four is where he's been at his best against the spread. And that's because he does give his backups a chance to succeed. They call the kind of game that where the backups can, can succeed uh, when the opposing team's backups are just kind of going through the motions and a Opposing coaches are just looking to see who they might hang on to and who they might get rid of. So uh, that's one of the reasons why Zimmer's had success in preseason football, and he's four and one against the spread in week number four. Here's another reason: you've still got a backup quarterback battle for the most part between Sean Mannion and, of course, Kyle Slaughter. You've heard us talking about Slaughter quite a bit. He's now 95 for 126. That's about 75 percent completion rate. He's got 10 touchdowns and no interceptions in his career in preseason play. Never taken a snap for the Vikings in regular season. Of course, he was at Denver when he first came into the league, but 95 for 126, 10 touchdowns, no picks. If you saw last week's game for the Vikings, you saw you got a front door cover with Minnesota because he was looking to score a touchdown with the players that were on the field around him on that final drive. They had a fourth down, closing minute of the game, and Slaughter throws a touchdown.
touchdown pass for the front door cover. So you're going to get a battle between Mannion and Sloter in all likelihood. And by the way, Mannion has gone against better players, taking on, you know, second stringers and things of that nature. And he's a decent 24 for 37 so far this preseason. A couple of the touchdowns, only one pick. So we know we are going to get a couple of the quarterbacks who understand what they've got to do when they're out there. And we know that Zimmer and his coaching staff are going to give his backups their best chance to succeed. So listen, it opened two, two and a half, opened even different than that. But for the most part, it was two, two and a half. And uh, now it's up to three. So that's why we're jumping in a little bit early here. Going to tell you the day before the game uh, that the Minnesota Vikings are a play for us. Get it at minus three while you can. If it is not outrageous, this line, by the way, it will be one of my premium plays on Thursday. And we expect to have several college football plays, including a seven-unit play right out of the blocks. And we'll also, of course, maybe have more NFL preseason. I'll let you know for sure on Thursday's video. Don't forget about this. We got another one, guys. Doc Sports Journal. And you can check it out. Go to the website, order it. Only 11 bucks, 160 pages. Nice pocket uh, journal that you can carry everywhere. Use it for a handicapping tool. Man, it's great reference if you're doing radio. And obviously, it has some nice uh, angles. Also tells you when teams played last year, how they did against each other. And the port important stuff, you know, rushing attempts, rushing yardage, passing attempts, passing yardage, first downs, uh, turnovers, whether they were interceptions, whether they were fumbles, all that good stuff. And every single week is of course set up for you easy to read college football in the NFL schedule order and again where there's an angle or if they played last year there'll be a little footnote on each game on each week's schedule uh, to show you what page to turn to for that information nice little handy book that's now in its 48th year the doc sports journal you can google search and when it comes up you can sign up to have it sent wherever you happen to want it to be sent or you can go to docsports.com and go through the home page as far as is getting this sent to you again only 11 bucks 160 pages of college and pro football information from doc sports all right that's going to do it for us again the vikings and look ahead to thursday and again we're doing this because we don't want that line to get any higher look ahead to thursday on the minnesota vikings minus the field goal over buffalo is the free play we will be right back here friday uh, thursday morning excuse me thursday morning 5 a.m eastern 2 a.m pacific no later than that with another free play from this weekend's football i'm scott sprites or DocSports.com. if you like these videos click on that thumbs up button be sure to subscribe and be right back here thursday let's put wednesday in the win column